Hey City Kids, I'm Pastor Jess. And I'm Mrs. Nikki. Today is Kids Come Sunday! <laughs> yes, City Kids, we had so much fun at Kids Comp I Spy Jesus. And if you weren't able to join us, that's okay, because we're going to fill you in on some of the best parts of Kids Conference. That's right, Miss Nikki. So City Kids, what we're going to do is first take a selfie. We want to see how you're doing church at home. So take those selfies and tag us at COL City Kids. We're going to take our selfie together. City Kids, let's get ready to start worship. Stand up on your feet and let's kick Kids Comp Sunday off! Woo! Here we go! You're doing a new thing, making my heart sing. Bringing color to this brand new day. It's never been clearer, you draw me nearer. You're always with me and you're here right now. My song of melody, your perfect love for me. It's never been clearer, you draw me nearer, you're always with me and you're here right now. My song of melody, your perfect love for me, my heart is full of praise. Come on! Your love, it makes a way, and I give you my hallelujah, hallelujah. Kids, we are in day three of Kids Conference. It's the last day of Kids Conference. Let's give it our all. Let's worship with our whole heart. So I want you to stop what you're doing, lift your hands real high. Let's open our hearts to Jesus and let's just worship Him. Let's give Him our very all. Will you sing this out with me, City Kids? Sing this, he's the way maker. Touching every heart, I would. 
and he's always there. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, come on, you never stop. Even when working. I don't see it. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Kids, will you sing it one more time? By maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. City kids, can you give the Lord a worship today? Can you give him a praise? Can you say hallelujah? Hallelujah. He is so good. He's a promise keeper. He keeps his promises. He loves you. Hallelujah. Amen. Bodyguard Bob. Bodyguard Bob, where are you? Oh, there you are. Look, I just discovered the most terrible thing ever. My dog, she's gone. What am I going to do? Someone must have stolen her. I don't know how I'm ever going to find her. What am I going to do? Oh, what's this? Call Inspector Adam Zappel? You think I need an inspector to find out what happened to my dog? Well, it's worth a shot. I, I have to find my dog. Hello? Is this Inspector Adam Zappel? This is Mayor McDonald's. Mayor, give me one second. You're on speakerphone. This is Mango, the inspector's assistant. Oh. Well, hey, Mango. Listen, I have a really, really serious case I need help with. Oh, what can we help you with, Mayor McDonald's? Well, you see, I have this dog, and she's the most amazing dog in the world. She's my best friend, and she helps me make all the important decisions for our city. Wait, did you just say that your dog helps make the decisions for our city? Well, yes, yes, I did. Continue. Well, this morning when I woke up, I, I, she was gone. I, I had her leash, but, but she wasn't here. Someone must have stolen her because she never leaves my side. Someone stole my dog. Wait, Mongo, this, am I hearing this correctly? Someone stole the mayor's dog? Mayor, listen up. Don't you worry. I will absolutely help you solve this case. This is serious. I'll be at city hall as soon as possible. Thank you so much, Inspector. Ooh, Mongo, this is serious business. This is no regular day at Inspector's headquarters. Hmm, what should I do? I, I will need help on this case, won't I? Hmm, no, not you. Chloe with a K, yes, Chloe with a K. Hello, Chloe. Meet me at City Hall as soon as possible. We have a serious case to solve. Inspector Adam's apple, out. Well, Chloe. I'm really happy you could make it. This is a very serious case. I mean, the mayor has lost his dog. We have to help him. Wow, that's a really big deal. I feel so bad for the mayor. I really hope we can help him. Yeah, so do I. But Chloe, listen, before we really get in that office, I need you to understand something. Really listen to this. 
We cannot make any promises whatsoever. This is because we can't make a promise that we don't know we can keep. No promises. Got it. Perfect. Let's go. <laughs> Mayor has really lost his marbles here. Mayor, hey, we're here to help you. I'm Inspector Adam's Apple. Oh, hello. You're here to help? Yes, we're here to help. <gasps> well, listen, I need you to help me find my dog. My dog Frenchie is my best friend and I'm heartbroken over this. Please help me find her. <laughs> wow, I am so sorry, Mayor. I promise that we're gonna help you find her. You promise? Did I say I promise? No, I don't promise. Why would I say something as silly as that? You, you don't promise? No, I do promise, but I don't promise. Um, okay, I should just go start looking or something. Just ignore her and her silly antics. Look, we are going to try our best to look for your missing pup. Okay. Think, 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 and think real hard. Do you have any leads? Anyone you know that might have stolen your dog? Well, I couldn't imagine who could do something like this. <sighs> My pride and joy. <gasps> the reason I wake up every morning. <gasps> the peanut butter to my jelly. The, the SpongeBob to my Patrick. The macaroni to my cheese. The salt to my pepper. <laughs> okay, okay. It's too much. <laughs> I, I got it. I got it. Okay. Uh, look, <laughs> we're going to try our very best. Okay? Inspector! Oh. Look! I found the mayor's dog! That's not my dog! Wait, what? If, if this is not your dog, then whose is it? You're telling me that this dog I'm holding right here is not your missing dog? No, I've never seen that dog in my life. But you said your dog was a Frenchie. This breed is called a French Bulldog. No, my dog's name is Frenchie. Oh. <sighs> Look, we will make sure to find your missing dog, okay? Look. I'm not worried. I'm not stressed. 
Inspector, I need you to find Frenchie. I cannot make decisions without her. Find her now. Okay, okay. Hey, 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 listen, man. It was an honest mistake, okay? We're gonna go look for her right now. And in the meantime, get that weird looking dog out of here. Yes, Inspector. Hey. All right, Mayor. I'm gonna need you to calm down. Stop crying. Look at me, look at me. Can, can you take three big deep breaths? Can you do that? Okay, ready? One. I can't believe she's gone! Oh no, man, man, you have to stop crying. You need to get a grip on yourself. You ready? Come on, three good deep breaths. Come on, come on. Okay, okay. What would French you want? Come on. One. <laughs> I can't. This is hopeless. I'm sorry, man, but you're going to have to stay here. Me and Chloe will look for your dog, and we'll be right back. Inspector Adam's apple, be strong. Out. <laughs> well, here we are at the conservatory. The conservatory? This place totally gives me the creeps. Chloe, don't worry. We'll be fine. Anyways, the criminal might be here. We got a really good lead on this place from Mayor McDonald's. Okay. Hey, Inspector, who is that guy? Oh, that guy? He's a secret security agent, you know, sent to, to protect us from any bad guys, but we'll be fine. Oh, okay. Does he talk? I don't know. Hey, hey, you. Do you talk? Guess not. Anyways, we should go look for this criminal, I guess. Any clues? I'll go this way, you go that way. <laughs> Inspector, I've been looking everywhere, but I can't find anything. Tell me about it. I looked everywhere, too. <sighs> Wait a minute. I may have looked everywhere, but my nose is smelling something. Do you smell that? Smell what? You don't smell that. It's like a, like food, like seasoning. Wait. The only person that can have this smelly smell is a, a chef. chef. Oh. <laughs> Omg, Inspector. That has to be him. That has to be the criminal. Mongo! Oh, oh no, he's gone! Mongo. What do we do? Just, Inspector, I, snap out of it! Ah! Oh, what did I just see? That was atrocious! Oh, Freeze. wait! Ah! Don't move a muscle. Chloe, is that silly string? Please, can we just talk about I this? I said... Ah! Oh, okay, 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 chef, chef, please, please, please. I'm wearing a white shirt. White shirts get very dirty when silly string touches them. You should know this by now, and I just can't afford that. This case is very important, and I can't look ugly. And I can't vlog with my clothes all messed up. I promised my viewers that I would. Inspector, he's still pointing those things at us. Okay, okay. What do we do? Just take a break. Okay. I know what I should do. Mongo told me to never do this, but I'm gonna do it because I need to save us. What is it? I'm gonna dance. <laughs> Come on. You like this? Oh my gosh, it's not working! Oh. I'm gonna give you the, the count of ten to get your Sherlock Holmes looking. YouTube star wannabe selves out of here? Or else? Oh, no, no. Let's just talk about this. One, two, three. <laughs> OMG! You just saved our lives! He just saved our lives! Superman, Spider Man, he's my hero! How can we ever repay you? Thank you! Thank you! Okay, okay. What's next? I'm an inspector. I should know what I'm doing. Mango time. Noodles! The chef left noodles! Can you believe this? Those are Italian noodles. Italian noodles? Mamma mia! 
They are Italian noodles. There can only be one chef that would leave Italian noodles on the scene. Chef, chef Mario Luigi. Luigi! Let's get out of here. Inspector Adam's apple. And Chloe with a K. Out! <laughs> Hey CD Kids, I'm Mr. Jude. So during Kids Conf, we had a memory verse for the whole week, and I'm about to teach you the memory verse and the moves. It's found in Jeremiah 29, 13. It goes like this. You will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. Now I'm gonna teach you the moves a lot slower, and we're gonna do it all together at the end when I teach you, okay, ready? Punch your hands up in the air for you. For seek me, you're gonna seek for me. <laughs> when you find me, put an X across your chest. When you search for me, use some binoculars with all your heart. Do a rainbow and then a heart. Great job, now we're gonna do it one more time all together. We're gonna wrap this up and we're gonna do it, all right? Jeremiah 29, 13, you will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. Great job, City Kids, you did so good. Hello, Mayor. I have some great news. We have discovered the criminal. Ah, oh, can you believe he was none other than Chef Mario Luigi? I know you have no idea who that is, but he's a chef Mongo helped solve a case just a few weeks ago. Can you believe he's a criminal now? Wait, so you're telling me you actually found the criminal? Yes, we actually found the criminal. But I do have to say, you might want to take a deep breath. Uh, he managed to escape. Oh, oh no! That's horrible! I'm totally freaking out. This is the most stressed I've ever been in my life. Okay, okay, you need to relax. No, I can't. This is horrible. <sighs> Look, you just can't get so worried like that. I, of course I can. This is a crisis. <sighs> crisis, crisis. Listen, when we're in moments like this that feel like a crisis, hard and scary situations, the Bible says that we can find peace in Jesus. I know this is hard, but it's a promise. There is peace right now for you in Jesus. Wow, that sounds great. How can I find that peace? Well, that's an easy mystery to solve. An amazing way to ask is to simply, an amazing way to have that peace is what I mean, is to simply ask. Maybe I can pray for you. That sounds great. Let's pray. Why don't you bow your head, close your eyes. God, we understand that when we come to you, no matter the situation, no matter the crisis, no matter how hard it is, God, you can give us peace. Right now, I pray that you take away all of Man McDonald's worries and give him peace. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thanks, Inspector. I really hope everything works out. Well, I'm getting a call. Who could it be? Hello? Inspector, this is Chloe with the K. I wanted to let you know that I'm here with Mango and we have a lead. We know exactly where Frenchie is. I'm sending you the location now. Yes! Oh, I guess miracles do happen. Okay, Mayor, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get Frenchie from Chloe, Inspector Adam's apple. Why don't you finish it this time? Out! <laughs> Hey, Inspector! I'm so glad you made it. Okay, so I was with Mango, and we were looking for clues, and we found this huge trail of noodles. Wow! That means Chef Mario Luigi has to be here. I think so, too. I think he has to be somewhere in this restaurant. You know, I have the perfect plan for us to solve this. Okay, so we're gonna need someone to be the distraction. We need someone that can be as annoying as possible for a very long time. Hmm, I wonder who it could be. Wow, never thought I'd be picked to be the distraction. Is this what people really think about me? Guess I'll just have to wait for the chef and find out. Oh, there he is. Oh, hello there, tiny dragon. What are you doing here? 
I'm here to distract you. Distract me? Wait, aren't you working for... No, that's not what I meant. I meant I'm here to help you. You're here to help? But you just said... Yeah, I want to be the bad guy. The bad guy? Hold on a second. Yeah, you know how the song goes. I'm the bad time, thank you for my head. I think you for my head. I'm the no. bad Please. guy. The sound is crippling. Please. Ah, we got you. What? What? Wow. That's right. We finally caught you, and now we can get Frenchie back to the mayor and make sure you learn a good lesson about the choices you made. No. If it wasn't for that tiny dragon with the worst voice I have ever heard, I would have been caught by you too. <sighs> yeah, yeah. I don't want to hear it. Hey, he did a great job. What a good idea. Anyways, I wonder where Frenchie is. <gasps> that must be Frenchie barking. I'll go look. <sighs> Chef Mario Luigi, your actions were very, very poor today. Just bad choices. <sighs> Look, I found Frenchie. The mayor is going to be so happy. Frenchie. Oh, well, we should get going. He's going to be so excited. Let's go. Now, before I take you to Chef Jail, you need to learn from your actions. Do -do 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 no! Oh my goodness! Man, look who we found! I can't believe it! I never thought I'd see you again! Thank you so much, Inspector and Chloe! I never could have done this without you! We're so glad we could help! You know what? We all learned something from this case. Chloe, you learned from the inspector about keeping promises and you kept your promise. Yes, I kept my promise about finding Frenchie. This is just like how God always keeps his promises. Exactly. And bodyguard Bob, you know what? You protected us when we needed protection, right? I'm pretty sure he agrees. And inspector, thanks so much for teaching me that true peace comes from Jesus. Yes. Mayor McDonald, true peace, no matter the situation, always comes from Jesus. Wow, we really learned a lot by solving this case today. Yes, we did. Wow, I'm so glad we were able to help you today, Mayor McDonald. Inspector Adam's apple. And Chloe with a K. Out. I'm gonna eat a little piece of cake. <laughs> that means everybody needs to be quiet. When I feel peace, I feel calm like someone's with me. Think of when, when at night, Jesus keeps me safe and he brings, he takes away my fears and brings peace. Think of Jesus, the Prince of Peace. Everything around you is calm and peaceful where it's just Listen to the birds chirping in the water moon. I think it is calm and calmness. Peace means tranquility. I think of how when I'm scared at night and I go to bed, I think that Jesus is still here because I'm not scared. It's because I always quit. You feel safe and you have nothing to worry about. I also think of God, how he always surrounds us with his peace during when we're sleeping, when we're awake, when we're in our house, when we're out of our house. He always surrounds us with his peace and we feel calm and still. No bullies. No selfishness. And no sin. When I hear the word peace, I automatically just like feel safe and calm and it's just like, it's like being relaxed and yeah. To relax. Calm. Justice. No fighting. No bullying. Harmony. When I hear peace, mm -hmm. I feel God. 
because he's my peace, he's my safety. Relax and um, just peaceful and like, you're not angry, you're not sad. When you like you want to have some peace and relax with no noise. I feel like eased and relaxed. That you're calm and peace and not to think you're quiet. Um, peace. no wars. Um, for me, the spirit. Okay. No. Can you? Anti-war slogan. Take it easy and when you talk too much and when you like hurt your stomach, you got calm and like. Hey City Kids, Pastor Jess here. Great job on giving your answers for what you guys think of when you hear the word peace. I think we can all learn from Aria to just take a deep breath when we need some peace in our lives. You guys wanna try that with me? Take a deep breath, ready? I love some of the other things that you guys said as well. You said peace was like being relaxed quiet, some of you guys said calm. City kids, those are some really great answers. Guys, can we talk about how Chloe with a K finally found the mayor's dog? She actually kept her promise to the mayor. You know what I love though? I love that Inspector Adam Zappel helped the mayor find his peace before the situation was even completely fixed. And city kids, that's what we're talking about today. We're learning all about God's peace. So City Kids, if you have your magnifying glass, can you say this with me? Ready? I spy God's peace. Oh, come on, City Kids. We can say it a little louder than that. You ready? I spy God's peace. Good job. Now, City Kids, we're going to pray before we get started with today's lesson. Can you bow your heads and close your eyes? Lord, I thank you for this message on peace today. God, I pray for every child that may have worry, nervousness, or anxiety in their lives today, God. Lord, I pray that today you would show them that Jesus is the Prince of Peace. Lord, I pray that as they hear my words, that they don't just hear Pastor Jessica, but that they hear you speaking to them today, God. I pray that you bring them comfort and peace wherever they're at today. In Jesus' name, and all of our city kids said? Amen. Oh, come on, and all of our city kids said? Amen. Good job. Well, it's every everyone's favorite part of today. We are gonna peek into our spy kit. So if you have your spy kit, let's turn to day three, our day three packet. Inside, we're looking for a little toy. Let's see, it's a yo-yo. Did you guys find it? Did you guys find a yo-yo in your day three packet? You know, this yo-yo reminds me a lot about worrying. Have you guys ever worried about something before? Yeah? Well, you know, everybody worries sometimes. We get nervous about a test at school or worried we might get sick or nervous about making new friends. You know, even adults can worry sometimes. We just saw that the mayor was worried about his lost dog. And you know, sometimes I get worried when I'm driving somewhere that I've never been and I get worried I'm gonna get lost. So we all can worry sometimes. But I don't, know, I don't know about you, but worrying often makes me think and feel like a yo-yo. One minute I'm up, and the next minute I'm down. One minute I have peace, and the next minute I let worry take away my peace. But city kids, I love what the Bible says about worrying and how we don't have to let it affect our peace. I want you guys to turn with me, if you have your Bibles, to Philippians chapter four, verses six through seven. We're gonna read it together. It says, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God 
what you need and thank him for all that he has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything that we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and your minds as you live in Christ Jesus. Isn't that amazing, City Kids? So what the Bible is telling us is that in order to experience God's peace, we have to, number one, pray. Can you guys say that with me? Pray. Number two, tell God what we need. Can you guys say that with me? Tell God what we need. Good job. And number three, thank him for all that he has done. Say that with me. Thank him for all that he has done. Good job. You know, this scripture makes me think of the time that Jesus calmed the storm and brought peace to his disciples. I'm gonna read you the story from Mark chapter four, verses, 40, verses 35 to 43. Are you ready? It reads, that day when evening came, Jesus said to his disciples, let us go to the other side of the lake. Leaving the crowd behind, they took Jesus along, just as he was in the boat. There were also other boats with them. A furious storm came up and the waves broke over the boat so that the boat was nearly swamped. Jesus was in the boat, sleeping on a cushion. The disciples woke him up and said to him, teacher, don't you care if we drown? Jesus got up, rebuked the wind and said to the waves, peace be still. The wind completely died down and it was completely calm. He said to his disciples, why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? They were terrified. And the disciples asked each other, who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. Isn't that so cool, city kids? How Jesus stopped the wind and the waves from flooding the disciples' boat. The crazy thing is that Jesus didn't seem worried at all. In fact, Jesus was sleeping during the storm and he even asked his disciples, why are you so afraid? Hmm, if I didn't know any better, it would seem that Jesus had peace even during the storm. And he also expected his disciples to have that same peace because he knew they were going to be okay. Like we read in Philippians chapter four, praying about the things that worries us, city kids, is always a good idea because we know that God can help. Sometimes he takes away the things that we're worried about, just like how Jesus stopped the storm for the disciples. But then other times, instead of taking away the worries on the outside, God will help you feel better on the inside. And I need a helper to show you exactly what I mean. I'm gonna bring up Mr. Jude. Hey, Mr. Jude. Hey guys, can we give a shout out for Mr. Jude? He's been doing such a great job this entire conference. We love Mr. Jude. All right, so city kids, when I say go, don't do it yet. I want everybody to make as much noise as you can. I mean, loud noises. If you need to run to your kitchen, grab some pots and pans. I have a pom-pom. We have a few noisemakers here. And as soon as Mr. Jude, raises his hand like this, we need you guys to get silent immediately. Get super, super quiet. Do you guys got that? Okay, we're gonna bring on the noise. In three, two, one, go! Keep going! Keep going! Keep going! One more time! <laughs> Did you guys get that? <laughs> Good job, city kids. You know, sometimes when we're worrying and we pray about something that worries us, 
God brings us peace on the outside. He takes away the thing that we're anxious about. Just like when Mr. Jude took away the noise. But life doesn't always work that way. Sometimes the thing that's worrying you keeps happening. I mean, if you pray about a test, God won't usually call off the test, will he? Still, when you trust God, you can have peace inside, no matter what happens. You might say a prayer like this, city kids. God, I'm trusting you. I'm trusting you with this test. Even if I get a bad grade, I know that you'll still love me. If you can pray like that, city kids, and really, really mean it, you'll probably start to feel some of God's peace. Why? Because you're letting him take care of the thing that worries you. Now, let me show you what that looks like. I'm gonna give Mr. Jude these noise-canceling headphones. He's gonna put them on, and that represents peace. What I've just given Jude is peace. And so city kids, we're gonna make noise again. So when I count to three and I say go, I want you guys to make noise even louder than last time, as loud as you possibly can, because we wanna see if he can hear you. Are you ready? All right. Three, two, one, go! Okay, stop. Mr. Jude, hey, Mr. Jude, we're done. We're done making, can you hear me? Oh my gosh, Mr. Jude, was that a more peaceful experience this time? Could you hear anything? Yeah, we were making so much noise. You see, city kids, when Mr. Jude had the headphones on, he had peace on. Hey, thank you so much, Mr. Jude, for your help today. City kids, that's amazing. You know, Mr. Jude had those noise canceling headphones on to help him bring peace into his life, even with the noise around him. You see city kids, when you trust God with the things that worry you, sometimes he brings peace on the outside, like when we stop the noise, but other times he works like noise canceling headphones. He brings you peace on the inside because you're trusting in his love even when the outside world is going crazy. City kids, Jesus gave his life so that you and I could experience his peace on earth, just like he did with the disciples and also one day in heaven. When we give our lives to Jesus and trust in his love, we have a promise of his peace, city kids. Whatever you're worrying about today, city kids, if you follow Jesus, you can do what Philippians chapter four, six through seven says to do. You can number one, pray. Number two, tell God what you need. And number three, thank him for what he's done. And we're actually gonna do that together right now. City kids, wherever you're at, if you're having anxiety, if you're feeling nervous, if you're feeling worried about the things going on in this world, things going on in your life, if you feel afraid, city kids, would you just pray with me? Say, Jesus, help me to stop worrying. I invite your peace into my life. Good job, city kids. Now we're gonna tell him what we need. We need him to help us, right? We need him to be with us. We need him to remind us of his goodness. So let's tell him that, Jesus, we need your peace. We need your love. We need your goodness around in our lives. Good job, city kids. And then we need to thank him for all he's done. So wherever you're at, city kids, would you just take 10 seconds to thank Jesus? You can thank him for anything that you want, for your mom, for your dad, for your grandma, for your grandpa, your family, your home, your bed, your toys. And we're gonna do that together, ready? Three, 
two, one. Thank you, Jesus, for my parents. Thank you, Jesus, for my family. Thank you, Jesus, for all the things that you give me for your protection. Are you, are you saying it, city kids? Are you thanking God? I can't hear you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. You see, city kids, when we do those things, we can have God's peace. And you know, city kids, if maybe one of you guys have never invited Jesus into your heart, I want to pray with you. If you want to invite Jesus into your heart, if you want to follow him and allow him to take away the peace, to, to give you peace, to take away the worry, to take away your fear, I want to pray with you today. If you want to accept Jesus into your life, will you say this prayer after me, city kids? Repeat after me. Say, Jesus, I invite you into my heart. Thank you for dying on the cross. Thank you for forgiving me of my sins. I want to follow you all the days of my life. In your name we pray. And all the city kids said, amen. Hey, if you prayed that prayer for the first time today and you accepted Jesus into your heart, I want you to know that heaven is rejoicing over you today. They're actually having a party in heaven because you accepted Jesus and we're so happy for you. Now you can pray and ask God for his peace in your life whenever you want. Great job, city kids. Well, we're gonna turn it over to Miss Mia and Miss Lexi because we need to find out if me and Mrs. Nikki are gonna get pied in the face. City kids, I don't know. Let's see what Miss Mia and Miss Lexi have to say. Well, city kids, what an awesome conference yes. recap. Well, now we have some announcements for you. If you are a fifth grader entering into sixth grade middle school this year, we want to celebrate you, and so make sure you tune in next Sunday because we have something special just for you. Yes, and City Kids parents, if you're not already subscribed to our newsletter, you can visit col.tv slash citykidsnews to stay in the loop on all things City Kids. Bye, Bye City, City Kids. Kids. See you next week. week.